<laughs> baby mama, baby mama, I'm tired of you. You doing things that a child will do. Let me tell y'all something, man. Toxic relationships are everywhere. Be careful. You might be in a toxic relationship right now. You might not even know it. Now, there's levels to the different toxicities in relationships. The video we about to watch, this was the final stage. Their relationship was so toxic that even when he got away from it, he couldn't get away from it. So I want you to just watch this video with me and make sure you, you, you know, take mental notes. This is the story of Kodesha Ayuna Bryson, age 25, a mother of three who shot and killed the father of her daughter, David Edens Jr., age 22, due to a minor altercation that had stemmed from the relationship being very toxic. Hey, for real, man. Where are they? David had posted on his social media about how toxic his relationship was a day prior to his death. One day later, Kodesha tracked him down to his motel where he lived, fatally shot him then fled the scene of the crime. We are following that breaking news in Greenville County. We know there was a deadly shooting at a motel. And it started as a burglary call. Our Paige Hopkins is live there this morning with the very latest. This story will be taking us to Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina is a vibrant city located in the southeastern region of the United States. Population of 70,720 as of the 2020 census, it is the sixth largest city in the state. Greenville is located approximately halfway between Atlanta, Georgia and Charlotte, North Carolina along Interstate 85. There are also plenty of museums, galleries, shops, restaurants and performance venues such as the Peace Center for Performing Arts and the Children's Museum of the Upstate. David Edens Jr., aged 22, grew up and lived in Greenville, South Carolina. He went to Caroline Academy according to his social media. David was said to be a lively, funny and nice person overall. <laughs> David was a father to two beautiful kids, one of the kids' mom is a young lady by the name of Kodesha Ayuna Bryson. Kodesha has three kids but one of them was the daughter of David. David was said to be a really great father who devoted most of his life for his kids, he spent time with them and tried his best to make them as happy as they can be. What the f- <laughs> He was also an aspiring artist who was trying to make his way to yeah, becoming boy. famous. Yeah, we, we are saying. Fully. For they tell me. Who could have taken on my name? Me ain't no my. Who could have taken on my name? Me ain't no my face. So tell me who they. Kodesha worked as a cashier at McDonald and she resides in Greenville, South Carolina which was how she met David in the first place. She had dated in the past but it didn't last because she was accused of being too toxic. They dated for a while before they had their daughter. During this period, things were so toxic between the two. People who knew Kodesha said she was a troublesome person and had toxic relationship in the past. After they had their baby, they decided to go their separate ways but still co-parent maturely. The idea did not sit well with Kodesha. She would do very silly things to make David's life miserable. They were known to be a really toxic people during and after the relationship. It can be seen on this video hey! how toxic things were between Hey, for them. real, man! Where are they? Man, somebody come get their home, girl, man. What wrong with her? Huh? Uh, you heard me. What you saying? Why you up there trying to prank for them? I cracked your window. That's not my call. Off oh, rip, boy. She look crazy. Like her eyes ain't sitting right in her head, man. She she liable to do something. <laughs> she look like she liable to do something. It ain't a funny situation, but just off of how she moving, yeah, she be snapping. She be blacking out.
Party. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't in my name. It, so you responsible I'm taking it back today. It's a rental. I don't care. Move. <laughs> Y'all look at this. She got a 211, y'all. <laughs> no. We got a black and mild behind her ear. No, she losing herself. Baby mama. Baby mama. Why are you doing all that? I want to talk to you. Baby. Where my child at? Can we go take the DNA test today? Yeah, it's Sunday. Oh. I'm not a fan of posting like your bad moments on social media. Now, I'm not saying that he's wrong for doing that, but I'm just not a fan of like, let's say me and my wife are getting in an argument. I'm not going to post my wife on social media while we having like a heated discussion. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you upset and you just going through some emotional shit and somebody got a camera in your face. The problems that you and your, your significant other is going through should not be entertainment for people who don't contribute to your household. Damn, boy, I wish I never dealt with her, boy, ever again in my life. I had a bad back up. But y'all going in on these comments. Look, look. Better him out. Baby mama, baby mama, I'm tired of you. You doing things that a child will do. Somebody help me, help me, help me, please. This video was recorded few weeks before the crime was committed. On this particular day, David who lived at the Motel 6, located at 2015 Wade Hampton Boulevard was home relaxing when Kodesha went looking for him for reasons best known to her. Upon getting to the top floor, she began breaking the windows to the rooms just to find David. When she finally broke into his room, they got into an argument making Kodesha shoot David. When authorities arrived on the scene, they found David Edens Jr. deceased in one of the rooms with a gunshot wound. Kodesha was nowhere around the scene but witness put her at the scene and she was declared a person of interest. Deputies have found one person dead inside a Motel 6 in Greenville. 7 News is Jennifer Martin live along Wade Hampton Boulevard with more. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, good morning. Yes, here we're at the Motel 6, which is off of Wade Hampton Boulevard near Wade Hampton High School in the Fine Arts Center. And investigators were here all morning. They left here at about 6.30 a.m. and they were spending a lot of time on the third floor here of the motel, going in and out of rooms. And according to the coroner's report, uh, the one of those rooms was where this man who was found dead lived. And the, uh, the window outside of that room was shattered. We have video of that just to give you a close look. Now Greenville um, County deputies arrived here late last night responding to a reported burglary. That's when they found that man inside of one of those rooms with a wound. The coroner's office did identify that man as 22 year old David M. Edens Jr. He was pronounced dead at the scene and the coroner's office estimates that time of injury and death was around 1035 last night. So an autopsy will be performed later today to determine the cause and manner of death. But several people who were coming in and out told me they didn't hear anything last night and this is the first time they've noticed anything unusual except one person told me they did hear a woman um, screaming loudly around that time of night. However, uh, I did talk to one woman who just said that she's a little concerned living here. It was just scary. I just went in my room and stayed in here. It's the time, first time I've been out since yes, well, last night. Kodesha Ayuna Bryson turned herself into law enforcement in connection with David's murder. Kodesha was charged with murder possession of a weapon during the commission of a violent crime, and malicious damage. Kodesha is being held without bond at the Greenville County Detention Center. woman accused of killing the father of her child inside a Greenville motel last night has been denied bond. Investigators say she knocked out windows of other rooms looking for the victim. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown has been following the story and she has all the details. We are in front of the Greenville County Detention Center where Khadija Bryson is now behind bars, accused of killing her baby's father. Now a family is planning a funeral before they plan their holidays. We just want to know why he left his kids, he left his family. 
This is around the holidays. And we just want to know why. He's a good father, good family person, good outgoing person. The question is just why? At the time of the crime, David had broken up several weeks prior, she must have gotten upset for reasons she has not stated yet. Just a day before this tragic incident, David had posted on his social media saying, all I know is I will stay single for life before I enter another toxic relationship. Unfortunately he would not live one more day before the same person he was trying to get away from was able to find and kill him. We hope David Edens Jr. gets the justice he deserves. This is another sad case bringing to light the issue of domestic violence and what we should be looking out for when in a relationship. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of David Edens. May David's memory be a blessing for his family and for all who knew him and may his life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. You never really know what people are capable of, you feel me? Like, you gotta be careful. You gotta be really careful. I'll give y'all a story, right? At my last job, this, this probably happened four years ago, five years ago. You know, when you work in a factory, they have temps. They usually hire temps, right? So they had hired this lady, and she had just finished giving birth. So she still, you know, she still had the stomach and everything like that. So she had just finished giving birth. And she worked with us for about two weeks. She went home that Friday. And then she ain't coming Monday. She ain't coming Tuesday. She ain't coming Wednesday. So, like, you know, I'm like, damn, son. You know, temps come in, and then they leave, bro. Temps be in and out of... of if you worked at a factory, you know that temps be in and out. So anyway, one of my other co-workers was like, yo, you remember old girl that was training with y'all? I was like, yeah, she in the news. She killed her husband. I'm like, what? Yeah, right. Sure enough, she pulled the article out. Shorty killed her husband. She killed her husband that Friday night when she left from work. I feel as though, but you know it was crazy? The first week she came in and like that week leading up to her killing her husband, like, you could tell that she was, like, going through it. Her demeanor was a little different. It wasn't like she was crazy, you know, she was off and nothing like that. It just felt like she was, she was down. Like, she, you know, she, she just had a lot on her shoulders or whatever. And then, sure enough, bro, like, I think that Friday, she, that was the last time we saw her. She got locked up for killing her husband. So... You just never know, son.